We'll begin in Abuja, where the Upper Legislative Chamber of the National Assembly has passed a bill seeking to enable statutory delegates vote at the congresses or conventions of political parties. This follows the expeditious consideration of a legislation during plenary, which scaled first, second, and third readings within an hour and was passed by the lawmakers after consideration by the Committee of the Whole. Deputy Senate President Oviomo Agege, who sponsored the bill to amend the 2022 Electoral Act, said the Electoral Bill, assented to by President Muhammad Buhari in February, only recognizes ad hoc delegates. Sijesu Adeoye has more. Senators return to the chambers after a restful holiday. Before them is a bill to amend Section 84, Subsection 8 of the Electoral Act 2022. This amendment is to allow for the inclusion of statutory delegates into the political party voters' register to enable them vote at the congresses or conventions of political parties. Pleasure to have the privilege of leading the debate on this very important bill. We seek to amend the Electoral Act 2022 to make provision for delegates who have not been elected ad hoc delegates. A cross-section of lawmakers who supported the bill says this amendment is a welcome development as it will give most of them the opportunity to vote during party convention. And then most of us will not uh, have the liberty of voting during the party's convention. But having said that, Mr. President, we still have a lot of you know, sections in the Electoral Act that we need to look into. This error which led to us coming back to look at the correction was something that happened inadvertently. I don't think it was the intendment of this Hano Chamber, neither was it the intendment of those who perfected the document to send to Mr. President. The uh, Electoral Act of 2022 that we passed this year has a deficiency that was never intended and that deficiency will deny all statutory delegates in all political parties from participation in congresses and conventions. And therefore, such a major, such an unintended clause has to be amended before the party primary start. Those identified as statutory delegates include the president, vice president, members of the National Assembly, governors and their deputies, members of the state houses of assembly, chairman of councils, councillors, members of the National Working Committee of the political parties and others. Tijesu Adiyotiv's News, Abuja. Well, for more on this development, joining me at this time is spokesman of the Senate, Ajibola Bashiru, who joins us live via Zoom from Abuja. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 10. Well, Nigerians would like to know, explain in clear details what this amendment seeks to address. Yeah, good evening. I'm happy to join you. Uh, the uh, amendment is actually done... Uh, because of what we consider uh, to be in uh, abundance of caution. Uh, Section 84 of the Electoral Act uh, relates to nomination of candidates. Under that act, three procedures were recognized, direct primary, indirect primary, and consensus. The actual operative provision for uh, indirect primary is Section 84, subsection 5, and that provided for holding of convention and congresses. The section that is uh, uh, amended today is a subsection 8 of section 84, which is uh, similar to the subsection 7 of section 87 of the 2011 Act, uh, amend uh, Electoral Act that was uh, repealed. Uh, in the uh, drafting of the 84 subsection 8 of the new Electoral Act, the phrase uh, which may include statutory delegates that may be included uh, by the construction of the party was omitted. Although by uh, an elaborate and harmonious interpretation of Section 84 and the Electoral Act, 
it will still mean that there's no uh, there's no intendment to amend the law uh, uh, that allow statutory or non-statutory delegates to vote. But the way Section 84, Section 8 was drafted was that the guidelines and control of the party should provide for the mode and procedure for the emergence of a delegate that will be duly I mean, elected. It seems to be that in order to avoid any mischievous interpretation or any ambiguous intendment on the part of the National Assembly, to the extent that we don't intend to, stay, to change the settled law that a combination of ad hoc delegates and statutory delegates as they be stipulated in the Constitution will be allowed to vote, that necessitated that very urgent and important amendment to the state that we don't intend to change the law as uh, it were before the amendment of the Electoral Act 2022 to allow both ad hoc elected delegates and statutory delegates as may be stipulated in the constitution of the various political parties. Indeed, it was an expeditious amendment. Would these statutory delegates we're referring to include occupants, I mean, former occupants of these offices uh, mentioned? It would depend on the constitution of the various political parties. There is no ad and ad and fast rule as to who will constitute statutory army delegate. All right, let's talk about another issue that has generated a lot of concerns, and that is section 84, subsection 12 of uh, the Electoral uh, Amendment uh, Bill. Did lawmakers make any move uh, with regards to that? If you can hear me, Senator Bashiru, I am asking about Section 84, Subsection 12, which uh, has got people talking, including the presidency. What moves uh, are the lawmakers making at this time regarding it all right that's much to be able to take from spokesman of the senate uh, ajibola bashir who joined us to shed more light on the expeditious amendment of uh, section 84 subsection 8 of the electoral uh, amendments electoral act actually